Please welcome the star of the upcoming features, The Proposal, and All About Steve, Sandra Bullock. I get to present a very interesting category, the Golden Globe for Best Actor in a Motion Picture, Musical, or Comedy. Our first nominee played a painter who gets to use his brush on Scarlett Johansson, Rebecca Hall, and Penelope Cruz. I will pause while the men in the audience uh, just, you know, freeze frame that image. Yep. Javier Bardem, Vicky Cristina, Barcelona. Two of our nominees played troublemaking hitmen reflecting on life while lying low in Flemish speaking Belgium, which is, you know, pretty much all you can do there. Uh, and by the way, that's like the first time I ever used the word Flemish in a sentence, so it's good. Um, uh, the nominees are Brendan Gleeson and Colin Farrell in Bruges. As a rumpled older man finding love with a woman decades younger, which is something we've not seen in this room before, Dustin Hoffman, last chance Harvey. And our fifth nominee played a hippie pot dealer, which had to be the most fun role in history to do research for, James Franco, Pineapple Express. And the Golden Globe goes to Colin Farrell in Bruges. Uh, <clears throat> That's a, thank you, cheers, thanks a million, thanks. That's a, a really, they must have done the counting in Florida. Um, uh, an absolute shock, truly, to even to get the nomination to be here uh, and to be started, part of such a piece. I have to, of course, thank my family at home in Dublin, or I'll be killed, Catholic guilt, uh, the Irish family, that whole thing. My mother, my father, brother, two beautiful sisters. Um, yeah, Martin, thank you for not listening to me when I asked you to cast somebody else. I've, I've never been so at peace with being ignored in my life. Um, it's seldom that you get a script that's as uh, simultaneously profound and beautifully comic and wonderfully painful, filled with delightful remorse and more than anything else, uh, the sweetest, sweetest redemptive qualities. And that was, that was in Bruges for me. And to work with Martin was a dream, uh, and I love you. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll ride Tally's, uh, Sally's uh, coattails and start talking about love a bit, because at the end of the day, I think what we all do in some way, shape, or form, and I hate to wax lyrical, is about love. Curiosity is love. It's uh, ignorance is uh, nemesis. And um, so thank you, Martin. And Brendan, I love you dearly. And this is at least half of yours. I'll, I'll cut it when I get off stage, and you can have a hemisphere. Um, <laughs> And uh, there's just really quickly, there's some people that I work with, uh, that I've worked with in the last eight years since I've been doing this. And they kind of transcend uh, the functions that they serve creatively and professionally in my life. Uh, I have an agent, I have two agents and a lawyer and a publicist that I actually love also. <laughs> Dearly, uh, Steve Warren, Josh Lieberman, Jack Wiggum and Danica Smith, who have more than anything... Um, guided me with decency and compassion and, uh, and have allowed me over the years to believe that what we do is nothing to do with business but is a dream that is born of that curiosity I spoke of earlier and is a, a playground for imagination and for the exploration of thought and feeling and that's why they're so cool and that's why I'm one of the luckiest actors around and of course the Hollywood Foreign Press I nearly left without thanking you. <laughs> Woo! That would have been bad. That would have been bad. I wouldn't have been coming back any time in a hurry. Um, all you mad Hollywood foreign pressers, I, I think you know, it's a bit late for brown nosing now that I have the award, I think you know that I've enjoyed my time with you over the last eight years. I really look forward to that insane hour that we spend together. And I really do. And, uh, and thank you for this, this memory very much. I'm very humbled. Thank you.